Hello? Cleo! Cleo! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Not the... Uh, how are you guys doing this Gorga day? How are you guys doing today? So it is the first testing you make a video of 2023. And honestly, I feel like I just did a testing you make a video and there's so many new things I've already launched. I'm like... I can't keep track. I can't keep track of the new things. Like there's just so many things that are launching that, that are just so new and there's just so many new things that are new. Hi. Why do I remind myself of Flynn Ryder when he's like, hi. <laughs> hi. Anyways, you guys, there's just a bunch of new shit that I want to test out. A bunch of things here that I've been very interested in that I really wanted to see and see what they were good. They were worth the coin. The thing is, I get a lot of this stuff in PR and a lot of it came to me in PR. Some things I bought, some things are in PR. And you guys already know, it doesn't matter if it comes to me in PR, I'm gonna be 100% honest, brutally honest with you about the tea of what's going on on this gorgeous day. It don't matter where it came from, whether it's purchased or it's sent, I'm an honest whore. As always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch, ain't no joke with that. But if you guys do like this video, if you guys like testing new things, if you guys like the gays, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. But without further ado, let's start on some of these new goodies. What's that? What was that? Okay, James. Okay guys, so basically, we got, Hold, let me prime real quick. Okay, I went in and I primed very quickly, but I'm gonna go in with our first products before I go in with foundation. That is the new e.l.f. correctors. <laughs> I was so excited about these. When I saw these launch, I was like, wait, not e.l.f. coming out with correctors too? Like, what can't they do? Okay, I'm gonna take the shade Peach. Yeah, Peach. So let's just go ahead and see what Peach does. Is it gonna neutralize us? Is it, bitch, not it actually neutralizing my under eyes. It's also very creamy. This is, Delectable. Bitch. No, dude, no, look at that. The under eyes are together. So I would say this this doesn't dry very quickly and it doesn't dry to like a matte finish like other characters I've used. This is more of like a, think of it as like a concealer, but with peach undertones, very strong peach. I also have this strong ass orange one that, that would be kind of fun to try out on like the beard area. So I'm kind of curious of the coverage and. Okay, so I didn't realize that they were this pigmented. I have a little bit of hair here right now, which is fine, because I honestly kind of wanted to see what it would look like with a little bit of that, you know, hair undertone peeping through. You guys, these are full coverage. Holy titty. Not my orange mustache. You guys, this is so strong. This is so intense. If you guys are curious if they were like gonna be pigmented, they are extremely pigmented, they're extremely full coverage. They dry to a nice satin finish, they're not drying down to a matte finish, but it's nice and satin. I just didn't expect them to be so full coverage. Also, I love green on me. I do, it's my favorite color to wear on me. Let me just put some foundation on really quickly. I'm gonna take the, what am I taking? This is the, the House Labs Triclone. This is not new. I'm just gonna apply this really quickly. I've used it before and I think it's absolutely beautiful. We're just going to See if that neutralizes that beard color. You guys, it's working. It's absolutely working. You can see that there's obviously hair there, but it's neutralized so heavily. Like you don't see the blue coming through as much from the hair. So if you guys do have a little bit of discoloration and you guys want to try out the e.l.f. correctors and you think, you know what, are these going to be good? Are they going to be nice? They're even better than I was expecting, honestly. That's a win for me. I look porcelain. This shade is a little bit light for me right now because I have a little bit of my self-tanner residual, but I still look crazy kooky cunt. Now that I'm looking sickening and stunning and wonderful, new product here. We have the new Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour. Guys, do you guys remember when I was like wanting to try this, but like I couldn't find it anywhere? I got a San NPR. What do I do? the release valve. Oh, and there you are, like a little poopy. I feel like this is supposed to be like kind of like a dupe or another option for the Charlotte Tilbury wand, you know what I'm saying? So let's see, I just put it on super pigmented immediately, taking the brush I came with, and we're going to, oh, baby, the blendability, are you joking? Holy fucking shit. I don't curse on this channel, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> just kidding, Courtney. Bailey. That went on and blended like it was. Uh, uh, it's so easy. A couple taps and it's gone. Not gone, but it's like blended. I feel like you know what? This could be. This could be more pigmented. This could be more pigmented because I'm a little surprised at how easy it is to blend. You know what's crazy? This might actually be the easiest little cream liquid bronzer contour situation. I am blown away by how easy this is to use. I'm actually blown away. I'm shocked. So this is supposed to be a contour. It's not bronzer, it's contour. So it makes sense. It looks like contour has more of a cool tone to it, but I'm so insanely impressed by it. Not my caca strip nose. That was so simple. And the color is a very, like kind of like a cool tone brown, which is crazy because it went on very neutral. I'm like, oh my God, this is gonna be like a bronzer. Baby, that's contour. This is contour. Contouriana. Did it give Ariane? Consider me shook to my core and to my essence. Just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Not me adding more. Okay, I feel like, let me see if it builds, how it builds up. It does build up, of course. It goes darker if you want it to. It's just like the blendability is insane. It, 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 I have no words. One of the easiest, if not the easiest, liquid contours I've ever used. Blown away, shocked by it. I wish it was a little bit more pigmented, but if it was more pigmented, it probably wouldn't be as easy to use. I'm shook. I'm fucking shook to my core. Wow. Let's go on with some concealer, baby. The new Urban Decay Quickie 24 hour multi-use concealer. This looks so gorgeous. Urban Decay, the way you guys are stepping up your and I love it. I love it. This just looks absolutely amazing. I grabbed the shade 20 CP. It just looks so nice. I love the little thing at the end. We're going to put this down the our faces. Okay, first impression is immediately super creamy, super liquidy. Ooh. The shade might be a little bit yellow for me, but I think we can make it work. I'll be fine. Part I really like about this too is the other side of it has a literal kabuki brush. A real one. A kabuki. Y'all seen that shit? Oh, and it's dense too. That's that's thick. Oh my god, not the brush being so good. <laughs> it's literally a kabuki brush. So imagine like a mini baby kabuki brush. Like you know how sometimes when there's things that are attached to a concealer or a product, you're kind of like, okay, girl, like it's not even gonna be good. Like whatever. I can confidently say that this is like dead ass, like sickening. Coverage is amazing. I would say medium to full. The little brush is fire. I love you! The reason the little kabuki, I feel like this works because you kind of want to keep it concentra concentrated and centered. Finish of the concealer is actually a satin finish. It's not matte. Kind of gives me a little bit of a glow, actually. Not necessarily glowy, but definitely like luminous. More than I was expecting. Look at that. You guys, I don't even need that. Like, I don't even need that much. With this applicator, I don't even need that much. It just spreads it so quickly. I'm gonna came depressed. Not depressed. <laughs> well, that too. I'm impressed. I'm absolutely impressed. Okay, so since it's more of a quick dry formula, you kind of want to work quick with it because it will dry down quickly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cap that up. Use a little sponge just because I'm used to the sponge. I shouldn't have used so much. I didn't need this much. I didn't expect it. With the little kabuki at the end of it, you don't need that much product because it really helps it take it far. Don't use that much product. A little goes a long way, especially with that little applicator. You guys, I'm fucking porcelain. I'm gonna came. Y'all, I ain't playing no fucking games. Y'all, I was just very excited for this. I was so, so, so excited for this launch. And like, this is a washable brush. Baby, this is a real ass brush. You can wash this shit. Imagine you can like twist it and more comes out. I wanna like, <sighs> okay, it doesn't do that, but it's not creasing quickly whatsoever. Look at that. Like the creasing isn't happening fast. The quickie concealer is giving me life in prison. No parole. Giving me life. Okay, let's go ahead and set the under eye with the new individual Jaclyn highlighters. No, brightening press powders. That's what I meant to say, is that they're brightening press powders. I grabbed the shade Brightening Fair, and this is what they look like. It's like a big ass under eye setting powder. It looks lovely. It looks absolutely lovely. I really like the palettes that she came out with. I'm assuming that this is the exact same formula. Like, come on, let's, let's be honest with ourselves here. But in a big ass palette form, individual. So let's take a little brush and set this under eye to fill. It's literally the exact same as the palettes. Look at my under eye, like it's creasing a little bit, but it's not that bad. For a concealer, baby, usually I'm like a disaster. So 
I'm impressed. The under eye formula is exactly the same, which I love. It's very brightening, but not luminous. Like it has like that brightening quality to it, but it's not, it doesn't have a sheen. Does that make sense? Like it's not, it's not shimmery, but it has a sheen to it, which I absolutely love. So this is the face so far, you guys. What do we think? I'm living. I'm living, bitch. You know what this is giving me? This is giving me like old school makeup vibes, like vibes that I love. I love you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face, add some bronzer to this cool tone ass face, and we'll be back to apply some highlighter and blush, which are brand new here. Be right back. Okay guys, so this is the face so far. We bronzed up, added a little bit of blush, just a little, a hint of it from a uh, Nude Prism blush palette. I have a little bit of blush on from there. What we have here, so this is the new Ciate London doll face glow to blush and it's like a blush highlighter it just looked so freaking insanely pretty look at the shit look at the shit you're gonna scream when i swatch it it's like this pinky reflective blush <sighs> huh so i thought i might add that as like a blush topper but first thing i want to go in with first is the new rare beauty highlighters I was so excited about this. I was so excited about this. Couldn't find them though, went to Sephora. They were sold out. But I got NPR, so I wanna say thank you to the Rare Beauty team. So I'm gonna go in with the little brush that they came with too. Oh, my under eyes look so fucking snatched, bitch. Wow. Okay. 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 Um, right. Um. So we have blind. Bitch, I can't see. Bitch, snap out of it. Yeah, we have blinding here. So we're gonna go in with these. Okay, so these are the kind of highlighters that are very blinding, very intense because they're so lightweight. I will say they do emphasize my texture. When I'm looking up close, I'm like, oh shit, well, hey texture, how y'all doing? How you doing, girl? You doing good? Haven't seen you in a minute. There's highlighters that will emphasize your texture. Even though they're blinding and they're stunning, but I feel like usually the more blinding the highlighter, the more they emphasize your texture. You know what I mean? Do you guys know what I'm saying? Mind you, Every highlighter, in my opinion, will emphasize texture. Some more than others, some more than others. This one a little bit more than others, but the effect that it's giving me is so absolutely beautiful that I don't really care. I'm just giving you guys the heads up that this is one of those lightweight, airy, blinding highlighters that will emphasize texture. And that's just honestly true tea, but it looks so good. I'm impressed. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? This was made in Italy. It makes sense because it's like that baked consistency. I'm Italian. I like you. I like you. Okay, so should we like blend the two with this? I feel like I shouldn't be going in with this because I'm already so blinded on the cheek. But, you know, I have moments. Okay, this is extremely pigmented, so you do have to be careful with this one because it's also a baked consistency. Made in Italy as well. Okay, let's just do a little like a... A dusting. Okay, I do feel like I added some of that pink hue to it when I turn. Oh wow, that's actually very pretty. If you're looking for a pink blush highlighter, a blinding pink blush highlighter, this might be your girl, you guys. Cause it's so blinding and intense and it does have that pink undertone, but it's very bright. So it's, think of it as a pink highlighter. It's a very light pink highlighter. I haven't glowed like this in years. This is giving me 2017, 2018. There's room for everybody. Holy shit. I have not been this glowy. And see, this is like, this is the thing, right? Like when I smile, like everything that's going on on my face, when you have this much highlighter on, you can see it. Hey, little like wrinkles, arrugas. I'm also getting Botox later today, so don't say a fucking word. I will say though, but for the products themselves, this is blinding, this is insane. I'm very impressed with it. Packs a punch, does emphasize texture, obviously but it's really, really nice. Same with the Ciate one. The Ciate one, way more intense than I was expecting. Way more blinding of a, a blush, blush highlighter, if you will. It's a, it's a hybrid, but I do love the color and I like the way it looks on my cheek, especially when I'm looking straight forward. I love that little pink flush. So uh, th what was that? Oh my God, what is that? Oh wow, okay. You know what, let me go and add a little bit of mist. I'm feeling a little matte right now, so I'm gonna... A little Fix Plus. I need to be brought back to reality, just knocked down a notch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely. You guys, my skin. For it being full coverage and as stunning as I am, like it's giving. Just wanna see it on my iPhone. Ah, I know you do because you're just sick. So this is the skin. Oh, you guys see what I'm talking about with like the glow? I've, I have not been this glowy in years. I've not been this lit in years. This is what it looks like on my iPhone, just so you guys can see. 
Close up the under eye looks snatched as fuck. The skin is nice and glowy and beautiful. I'm full coverage, but it doesn't look like I'm full coverage, you know? Or does it? So next you guys, let's go in with our brow product and we're gonna go in with the new Fluff Up Brow Wax by Benefit. What? There's a new brow addition to the Benefit family. And honestly, I live, I live. I feel like honestly, Benefit has become like my go-to brow products. Like I've been using, I use Benefit stuff all the time for everything, but for the brows, they've been attacking it head on and I love it. So we're gonna take the new Fluff Up Brow Wax I literally bought this one at Sephora <laughs> for the last video, but I had the next one, so I'm like, okay, let me use this for my next one. So this is the next one. What is it? What is it? Full fluffy brow look, flexible hold, flake free, brush through brows using upward strokes to fluff up and texturize. So basically it's a texturizing brow styler. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this out. Ooh. So it's like that, it's a, it's a little bit of a waxy, can, it's brow wax, bitch, of course it's waxy. Don't be dumb. Oh. Oh, it's strong. Bitch, that's strong. So it's basically supposed to keep your brows in place for the day. I like it, you guys. It feels like brow glue. So it does feel like that waxy. You know those like wax pens that a lot of brands have? This is that in liquid form. Not liquid form, but you know what I'm saying? Like in a tube, in a tubey. I do feel like it looks like fluffier and textured. Nice. It looks feathered. I'm actually going to the Vegas with Benefit in like a week. I wonder if this is what they're gonna celebrate there. Hmm. That's exactly what it is. I feel like my brow just looks more full. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other brows, prime my eyes, and I'll be back. So let's move right along, you guys, palette-wise. ColourPop, when I saw that ColourPop came out with a Winx Club collection, I about shat myself. Literally, feces on the ground. No. No. I was very excited. I was elated because I was a massive Winx watcher. I loved it so much. I would watch. I would wake up every morning on Saturday to watch Winx. I watched the new, the new Winx show on Netflix, like the real life one or like live action one. So when I saw they came out with the Winx collection, I knew I had to use it and have it. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Lymphaea and Sounds of Melody, and I'm just gonna create like a little bit of a, a little thing, you know? We're just gonna create a little thing. I have this other product that I really like, that I saw, that I just got, that looked really cool. This is the Crystal Dimension Eyeliner from Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk, and it has this like very insane duo chrome, chrome reflection to it that I'm like, wait, I wanna try that. So I'm gonna just do this kind of edgy liner, you know? You guys are like, no, we don't know, you fucking weirdo. You didn't explain anything. Well, I digress. Anyway, the shadows you guys are working gorgeously. They build so nicely too, like you don't have to really do anything. Pop the builder. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out a little fluffy brush and I'm gonna take that shade Lymphane again. And we're just gonna blend out those edges. I've been trying to do what you guys said and do like go in with the darker color first. And I do like it. I just feel like it low-key takes me more time because I have to like work harder on the blend. But you know what? My mom didn't raise no bitch. I thought it'd be kind of fun just to do a little bit of a graphic liner. What do you guys think? Do we like it? You guys are like, you didn't even finish it, you fucking idiot. Shut up. You guys, my Botox appointment is in literally one hour. And if I don't make it because I'm filming, no, of course not, I'm gonna make it. You can't like mix your Botox appointment, bitch, the fuck? Did you hear what just came out of my mouth? Like, I sound crazy, dude. Like, makes my Botox appointment. <laughs> In what world am I missing my Botox appointment? Well, honestly, you guys, the shades are working just like normal ColourPop shades do. They work amazingly. I'm gonna take the shade Domino, I think. You know what? Hold on. So they actually have some glittery shades in this one where they almost feel different. They don't feel like the same. So for example, Domino, Sonic Bomb, Nature Simp, they're like more like pressed glitters. And then we have some shimmers, of course, as well, but there's pressed glitters in this palette, which I will say make it a little bit different in comparison to other palettes that they've done. I'm curious about this. I feel like this is like kind of the star of the eye. <gasps> That's stunning. It's like a duochrome pink gold. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Are these new? Cause I just got it in PR and I don't know if it's new or not, but like it's giving. My eyes also um, twitching. Stop, please. Let's curl our lashes because I also will have another mascara one going with. Okay, so since I don't want to cover up the liner, I'm not gonna put on lashes today, but I'm gonna put on mascara because we have a new mascara here. The new e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Bitch, if this is not supposed to be a dupe for the Benefit Roller Lash, I don't know what is. 
I don't know what is. Like, you see it and you're like, girl. Y'all tried it out, y'all fucking tried it. Even the wand is so similar, come on. Okay, we're gonna do a little lash and roll and try this out and see what we think. Great job at separating and lifting for sure. Okay, honestly, it's kind of giving. I will say I prefer, ro prefer roller lash over this one, but if the, the girls are on a budget, and want something that's similar. It, it is very similar. I say the, I say roller lash is a little bit more thickening as well. So not only is it lengthening, separating, and lifting, it's a little bit more thickening. And this one does a good job at separating and lengthening and a little bit of lift, not a lot, a little bit. But definitely if the girls are on a budget, this is comparable. Bitch, this is absolutely comparable. You guys see that shit? See the lengthening? See the separation? See the separation anxiety? Okay, bitch. I was thinking about doing a video where they test every single elf dupe versus the original product. Because off the top of my head, I can think about like seven or eight dupes that Elf has come out with to dupe high-end popular products. So I'm like, wait, I think it'd be kind of fun to do a video comparing all the dupes from Elf to the original product that they probably duped. My conspiracy allegedly. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, and if it has more likes than usual, I'll know that you guys want to see it. Hmm. I'm gonna go do the eye real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> I feel so fucking pretty. Like, I'm so sorry. And my right eye is twitching like a motherfucker. Can you stop? Let's go on to our lippy, you guys. We have some new ABH lippies. New lip liners and new lipsticks from Anastasia Billy Hills. You guys, I'm a huge fan of the lip liners and the lipsticks, so I'm excited about this. And gloss, the new Winx glosses. <laughs> so what shade should we go with? I'm feeling caramel. We have a couple types here. We have mocha. Let's swatch some. Mocha's cute. The lipstick I want to go in with is actually this shade, which is more like a sand color. The shade Warm Taupe. Let's do that. Okay, I feel like the lip liners from EBH are so nice because there are these wooden pencils that are very creamy, which I personally feel like a wooden pencil that is creamy is hard to find. I deadass feel like it's hard to find in this economy. You guys see how Jennifer Coolidge won the Golden Globe for White Lotus? I'm so proud of her. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so proud of you. I feel like this is like really her resurgence and I'm so happy for her. Well, this lip liner is stunning. I'm absolutely obsessed. And that's that. Imagine I just left it at that. Giving very cholita. Moving along. Oh my God, are you guys watching Drag Race? Hello. That's a little, not the direction I was going in. No. Oh no. 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 I'm not doing peach, you psychopath. You really never know if something's gonna look good until you put it on. You really don't. I also got these in. These are the Revlon Bare Affair Cream Lip. I already love the cream lipsticks from Revlon, so I got this shade in Bare Affair. I haven't tried it yet, I just watched it. I just like these because they're very creamy. Oh, see, this is what I'm going for. I was going for more like a pinky vibe to just kind of go with the cheek and the eye. That's so pretty. Ooh, I like that a lot. Okay, my favorites from Drag Race are so far Sasha Colby, obviously, because she's a living legend. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I think she's so fucking adorable. Anitra, you better walk that fucking duck. And Mistress, I love Mistress as well. And the Coil Twins, duh, because I literally know them and they're the sweetest little angels ever and they go to my gym and I love them. So I actually have a lot of favorites. Now I think we're gonna go in with this color. This is Bloom. I feel like it kind of goes with this look. Perfectly. I'm a dual. 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 Okay, that is everything. You guys, that is it for today's video. We tested everything out. All these new goodies, these new products. This is the face so far. What do we think? I'm obsessed. Tops of the video. Our tops and our bottoms. Top two. Right here. My tart sculpt tape. I just love the color of it. I love the ease of it. I wish it was a little bit more pigmented, but I don't even care because it just is so pretty on the skin. I do feel like it contoured my skin gorgeously. Like it contoured me stunning. And the Naked Quickie Multi-Use Concealer. I love the way it looks under my eyes. I love the little Kabuki on top of it. I love it. Oh my God, and the Elf. <gasps> Stop. And the Elf Correctors, I love them too. There's three tops. They're giving it to me hard. The bottoms. Mm. Death to all of them. Oh. I feel like there wasn't really that many flops, you guys. I really don't. I don't think that there were anything that was like, uh, the color of this, I just didn't love it. From the from the uh, Anastasia lipstick, I don't like the shade Warm Taupe. Okay, but a lot of people do like it. So, I'm impressed. Today's video was a good one because I didn't really have any bottoms. So rare when we're doing a testing you make a video. What the fuck is going on? That's it for today's video. I hope you guys had fun watching. I just feel so pretty. <laughs> Have a great rest of the night or day, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, I love you.
Hey guys! <laughs> My soap tanner is a mess. Let's not talk about it. Hey guys! <gasps> There's lights coming in. <laughs> Are you working, Audio? Yeah? Good. I need, to, I need to be arrested for crimes against myself for being so fucking pretty. And I have enough time for my Botox appointment. 